Hello friends, I hope you are fine. So let me continue with my chapter. So the first topic of today's class is Dwelling of Early Men. Early men did not have permanent values. They lived along the banks of River Narmada for several years. They were skill gatherers, that is people who gathered their food. They collected roots, fruits and other forest produce for their food. They hunted animals and also began to produce crops such as wheat and barley. People started rearing animals like goat, sheep and cattle as well. So in this line they said that the early man did not have permanent place to live or settlement. Today they may live here, tomorrow they may live there. They did not have proper house like us. They lived in the banks of River Narmada for several years and they were people who gathered their food. They collected roots, fruits and other forest produce for their food and also they hunted animals and produced crops such as wheat and barley for a source of income. People started rearing animals like goat, sheep and cattle as well. The Garo fields in the northeast India were some of the other places where agriculture developed. Rice was first grown on to the north to Pindas on the banks of these rivers. About 47 years ago, some of the early cities flourished. Later, about 2500 years ago, cities developed on the banks of River Ganga and the tributaries and along the sea coast. So, this line means that in the northeast India at Gulf Hills, agriculture developed not only here but also other places. And rice has been first grown to the north of the fingers on the banks of these rivers. And about 4700 years ago, some of the early cities have been flourished which came into effect and some cities have been developed on the banks of Ganga River and Sea Rays and along the sea coast when how to calm days. The birth of Jesus Christ is a focal point from which we count dates. So, it means that it is the very important uh, point from which we count dates because when Jesus Christ was not born, we count dates at 500 BC, then comes 400 BC, then 300 BC, 200 BC, 100 BC, like that. And after Jesus Christ was born, the deeds would be or the years would be counted as 100 AD, 200 AD, 300 AD, 400 AD and so on. And the present we are living is AD. If an event happened 500 years before the Christ, we say it as if the event happened in 500 BC and if anything happened 500 years after the birth of Christ, we say it as the event happened in 500 AD. So, I have, as I have always said to you, that if anything happened before the birth of Jesus Christ, we count the dates as 500 BC, 400 BC, 300 BC. So, why writing also, if, an, if it, in the book you will see, suppose the man was born. 500 years before the birth of Christ. So, you can write it as the man was born in 500 BC. And it, it is written that man was born 500 years after the birth of Jesus Christ. Then you can write it the man was born on 500 AD. The abbreviation BC stands for before Christ and AD stands for Anno Domini. Within simple language, it means in the year of the Lord. 
sometimes CE common error and BCE before common error are used in place of ED and BC means if uh, it is it as ED sometimes it will be seen it is written as CE and in place of BC it is written as before to see your fact the fact is the river Ganga and its tributary known as the sun in ancient times the area along the rivers to the south of the Ganga was known as Magadha its rulers were very powerful and set up a large kingdom today's class is names of the land we know that our country is known by different names such as Hindustan India and Bharat so here it is said that the word India present name of the country is India it was known as Hindustan and Bharat also the word India came from the word Indus and the word Indus came from the original Sanskrit name of the river called Sindhu means Indus came from sorry India came from Indus Indus came from the river called Sindhu which is the original Sanskrit name of a river the Iranians and Greeks who came through the northwest called it the Indos or I Hindos and the land to the east of the river was called India means the Iranians and Greeks who entered through the northwest called Hindos or Indos and those who entered to the east of the river they called it India in course time the country name came to be known as India in Greek and Hind in Persian means in Greek it was known as India and in Persian it was known as Hind. Later on the word Hind became Hindustan. The word Bharat, sorry, the name Bharat or Bharat Varsha was given to the country after the name of an ancient client, the Bharatas. Means the word Hind became Hindustan and the name Bharat or Bharat Varsha was given after the name of an tribe, ancient tribe the Bharatas.